They say this is a big rich town I just come from the poet's part Bright light city life, I gotta make it This is where it goes down I just happen to come up hard Legal or illegal, baby, I gotta make it I never it. took a straight path nowhere Life's full of twists and turns, bumps and bruises I live, I learn What's up, world, and welcome to the Speak the Truth podcast, the number one power podcast. Our usual host, Thomas, is off for the evening, so hosting for us tonight, we got our boy, Money. What's up, Money? Yo, Tess, what's good, man? How are you? I'm good. I'm ready to go. Crown me Tessie, a.k.a. I got the answer, Sway. Back again. Hey, we're good. We, we are blessed. We are lucky to have you. Hey, and we're going to get right into it, man. Um, We got Welcome. Uh, to, to, to speak the truth podcast um, powered by Go to Fire Life. Um, we're covering the hit TV series Power. Um, as you guys know, we have two our, our ace boom coons, our dynamic duo, um, our host Thomas and, and Keila that are out tonight. And we actually, we actually have a, a list of people that are out tonight um, as uh, the GOAT is also out. But um, we got Crown Me Tessie, um, you know. Uh, Tessie, say he- say hey to the listeners. What's up, y'all? I'm ready. I'm ready. I got the answer, Sway. Y'all ain't gonna get me tonight. Also, also tonight is uh, is your girl Neek. Neek, what's up? Hey, y'all. Baby girl is back, ready to go. Kwanda, what's the deal? You don't even have to ask. I'm here. What's going on? And yeah, my favorite bully, bring us in. Bullies back in the building. The neighborhood ain't safe. Let's get it. Word, word. <laughs> hey, we're going to bring y'all a good show tonight. Um, I'm excited, yo. Um, Power, uh, season six, episode six. Inside Man, man. What, what Was this the most exciting episode of the season? Um, I really enjoyed it. Crazy, crazy twists, crazy, crazy plots. So, man, we're going to get right into it. Um, we usually start off with a little quote from the show. So um, tonight's quote was a cold, cold scene, and it was um, Dre. It was Dre saying, nigga, you ain't built for this. <laughs> hey, Neat, what you think about that? Man, <laughs> Dre, Dre back. Let's go. I mean, we about to see what Dre about to do a lot. You know, he had a few more things going on in this episode, but he let him know, you ain't built for this. This me. I'm built for this. And he ready to go. I'm really ready to see what he about to do when it comes to, um, you know, what Ghost going to put him on with Jason. So, yeah, happy to see Dre still around, though. Low key. Yeah, yeah. Um, bully, what did you think? What 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 did you think when Dre says, "Nigga, you ain't built for this"? <laughs> Yo, it was it was a straight up prison scene. You know, it was like the the way he shanked him looked like he had you know made that out of a <laughs> toothbrush and, and a razor. Um, it came out of nowhere, but but Dre is back, um, ready to put in work, ready to let everybody know who he is and. And what what he's trying to get into, so um, it, it's going to get interesting. Um, as I've said in earlier podcasts, he going to die, he going to go, but he going to put in work before he do it. So he, he's ready to put that work in. Facts, fact. Crown me, crown me. What you think? Yeah, man, I'm I'm with Bully on that. He he went out and stabbed dude in the broad daylight right across the street from Alfonso. Alfonso didn't know what to do. He was looking all crazy and petrified. So um, I I definitely think um, you know Dre is making a comeback. He's he knows that a uh, ghost is helping him out get his daughter back. So he's not worried about sex no more. So so I think now with that information that you know he's gonna get his daughter back regardless of sex. I think he's definitely trying to make a comeback and get his name back at the top. Are, are y'all surprised Dre still? Al- are y'all surprised Dre still alive at this point in the season? No, I'm not surprised. No, no. Why? Well, I mean, he ain't had to go just yet. Um, but I think 
two bit seeing him, you know, in the club really, really uh, makes the plot thicken. And he ain't got too many more episodes. But right. they got to develop his character and get him, you know, get his hands more dirty and back in the scene. So up until this point, it ain't really been the opportune time to off Dre just yet. But as he develops in the story, the plot develops, then um, it's, it's, it's night night. Right, and we're gonna we're gonna touch on that two bit two bit seeing them a little later. Quando, why don't you go ahead and wrap wrap this one up for us, um, nigga? Nigga, you ain't built for this. Um, he feeling that life again. What's your take on it? Yeah, he definitely closed my mouth because, as you can probably remember, last episode I said that Dre was stomped. He was so scary with all that being scared and stuff so yeah um i remember the host thomas saying nah he didn't agree with me and he think you know dre is still street so yeah it definitely proved me wrong this scene right here and um he definitely is still about that life so but i i'm um with bully he's not he don't have too many more um scenes but they had to develop you know um his character and what he got going on but he don't have too many more episodes left. Right. I hey, I feel you. Well, hey, hey, bully, since you touched on it and I and I wanted and I wanted to bring it up. Well, actually, we're gonna go ahead and jump right into it. What what is the significance of two bit seeing Dre? Like now I was trying when I when I saw it, I was trying to think and I was like, did they I thought they had some type of beef, but I can't remember where the beef originated. Does anybody know like why he 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 want Dre he want Dre dead? Yo, they had the beef, you know, when Dre first like dipped and he was he uh he was going on the run, right? Before um uh, they all shot at him in that little warehouse or whatnot. You know, and Dre was packing his little bags, you know. He had the scene with two bit and uh how he was he was gonna get gone and things like that. So they had they had like a beef. But the significance is when Ghost was talking to Tommy, you know, Tom uh, Ghost was like, I got somebody on the inside, you know, with leverage and things like that. He didn't know, uh, Tommy didn't know who Ghost was talking about. He, he also said to, to Ghost, you know, with all the product, well, who are you going to get to move this? Oh, I got a guy. Don't worry about it. And Tommy was like, is it somebody that I know? And Ghost is like, nah, you don't know. But don't worry about it. We got a handle, right? So now, with 2-Bit being Tommy's man, and he saw Dre in the club, he's going to tell Tommy, right? So now now that information is going to get to Tommy. Tommy and, and Ghost already going to be back to Warren because, you know, you packing Ghost? Yeah. <laughs> you packing Tommy? Yeah, right. So it's on. You the answer is we know what it is. So that was the significance of two bit seeing them because now two bit gonna go tell Tommy and it's on. True. Anybody else want to touch on that? I. All right, then we we we'll move on. Um. So, team go. You know, ghost seems to be ghost again. Um. You know what 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 did he do in this episode um, to confirm this for you? Um, Tess, let me start with you. What what did Ghost do to confirm that he's back in this episode uh, for you? I think it was a few things Ghost did um, when he you know pulled in Benny. You know he he gave Benny the information of you know who he thought killed Proctor was the dude who he said he was testifying against, um, but that got him on his side. You know, so when he needed him later with the Vincent and Tariq situation, he had that in in his pocket, he had that lined up. That was very strategic. Um, and then the same thing with Tasha coming up with the idea to do the robbery at Truth. Um, you know, his execution of the whole Alfonso situation, having a gun, passing it to the tape, that was all, you know, very meticulous and very much Ghost's style of how he likes to do things. So, um, I think it was it was a lot of things. He he moved around the the right way this episode, and I mean it echoes what I said on the episode I was on that you know he hadn't 
lost it when y'all you know everybody was saying he you know he lost it with the whole seeing angela and i i was the one one of the ones who said that i don't think ghost was off his game i think he still is very much in control and knows what's going on and this episode just solidified that oh the the what you think yeah i i definitely agree with tess um He's back, and it was a multitude of things that uh, made me think that. So, but really, that scene where at at Truth at the nightclub, um, when he passed the gun, you know, to um, Councilman Tate, and and Alfonso was in on it and everything, we see how ghosts strategically work. And remember, like my sister Kita would say. Like Tommy is messy, but Ghost is is the brains, you know. Tommy the muscle, Ghost the brains, and and we're kind of seeing that like how it used to be. So yeah, so that that scene right there at at the nightclub definitely made me think that we we got we got our ghosts back. Right, right. I need check in on this one. I mean, I agree with the two ladies that came before me. Just about everything. I mean, we're talking about the smooth criminal here. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, ghost is ghost. <laughs> I freaking I do love ghost. I mean, Tommy might do, but I do love ghost. Ghost is very um he's very um articulate to me. And he, it, he, everything he does is a lot of detail behind what he does. And what I um, did like with everybody, the two ladies who talked before me, what they hit on was the scene with the robbery. But the part about the beginning, even when he came up with the idea, like he already knew, okay, I took the million, right? I borrowed it. I got to get it back to him. So if I go ahead and give it back, we got to, I'm going to come up with this idea to get the money another way. Like, you see how smart this man is? And it's like, he think of it on a dime. Like, the best criminal ever in, I believe, just about, he's in the top five of TV history. Yeah. So, so Nick, what was your take on, so so they went ahead and planned the robbery um, at Truth. They went ahead and went through but it. But it wasn't robbery. even, that wasn't but, even Ghost's plan. The boss, but, the boss is really Tasha. Tasha said, Let's rob them. Let's rob the place. So it yeah, wasn't yeah, let's, give, let's give time hold on, hold on, credit. Bully. It was hold on, bully. It wasn't Yeah, but I was talking idea. about the sit down though, how he positioned it to uh Garrity and Councilman Tate. That's what I was referring to, my bad, if I didn't say that. Oh hold on, hold on, hold on. We're we gonna touch on that in a second. I got I got a I got a follow up question. So when they they planned the robbery, they executed the robbery, but Councilman Tate said the money was already back. So where 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 did that money come from? Does anybody have any ideas and speculation? They gave it back. Gave yeah, it I back. think it was the million. The other Ghost half the, of the million. Yeah. Remember, Ghost one million back, got stolen but that with was Jason. Part of the plan. He gave it back, but the part of the plan was. If I'm giving it back, then I'm going to take it all back with the robbery. Yeah. That's how I saw it, too. Um, Jason took that one half, and then he gave that other half back. And they just got it. They doubled up with the uh, robbery. Oh, so they... Yeah, they, that's they, what I got. Oh. Yeah, I think they had already... He borrowed the million, but he also... I think they made the two million from all the drug deals. So when Jason took one half and Vincent took one half, they still had Tate's million. They were still only looking for one million when the they started selling just, Zig's drugs. So, so the robbery that's what they was able to give him top. his money back. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, Bully, what what you think? Oh, about about ghosts. Ghosts is back. Yeah, the the ladies touched on everything. Uh, not on everything, because there was still a couple other ghost moments um, that that didn't get talked about. Everyone talks about how with it, with the whole robbery, him being in, in involved on that, but um, in ghost-like fashion, he had you know Councilman Tate passed him the gun to shoot Alphonse <laughs> because 
If, but we got to go back to how Ghost set that up. Ghost gave him, hey, put it in his little pocket. This is the little copy of, you know, it's the only copy I have of you talking about skimming money from that I got from Alphonse. So he, he set the councilman up with that. But then when councilman realized that it was Alphonse, I can't shoot him. I know he's a retired cop. You know, because he ain't his bitch, is what he said. But um, but I'm going to make you my bitch anyway, because I'm going to pass you the gun so you can shoot him. Because him killing Alphonse is saving Ghost and Councilman. So Ghost, right. so Councilman has more wherewithal to want to kill Alphonse because of, you know, the, the publicity that it would give uh, his campaign, that he protect everybody. And killing him, nobody else knows because Ghost told him nobody else knows but you and Alphonse because I gave you the only copy. So if I kill this nigga, then Ghost don't have that leverage over me. So that's mm-hmm. how Ghost put. That's how Ghost played uh, Councilman on on. And that note there, also the very obvious Ghost thing was there was no no dialogue right between. Um, Tommy and Benny in regards to uh, killing Proctor. But Ghost's third eye was awake, and he knew by Tommy's reaction that Tommy killed Proctor when Mm -hmm. Benny showed up. So that was real Ghost-like, outsmart, and outthinking um, everybody else. So those two other things, besides of what the ladies talked about, were other Ghost moments that he's back. T- touching on that, what you said, um, what you said, um, go- Ghost is out thinking everybody else. Do you, do you really think that, that was the only copy that, that for the leverage on tape? This is Ghost money. Come on, Cap. <laughs> like you, this is Ghost. I'm a, I'm a Heck let no. You believe. I'm gonna let you believe this is the only one, right? But I'm stringing you. I'm. He's the puppet master. Right. Like he's going to pull strings and make things make things appear, or you know, or the magician poof disappear. Right. But he's playing. He's he's just so smart. He's, you know, out of the the Angela funk. He's back. So you wanted instances where Ghost was back. It was painted and depicted all throughout this uh, this episode here. So I think everybody pretty much unless others have other um instances where ghost was being the the old ghost we we touched on quite a few dope dope yeah man i definitely think ghost is i never thought ghost was i never really thought ghost went anywhere um you know but this definitely confirms that he he he's elevated his his game to a whole another level um um quand i'm gonna start this one off with you all right you ready all right so um, what what is Reek trying to accomplish by scamming his dad and Tommy and his mother? Because I'm, I'm so the question says his dad and Tommy, but I'm gonna throw his mother in there because she was part of it. So what is Reek trying to accomplish basically by scamming all the 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 people that raised him? <laughs> what's what's he trying to do? Um, that's a good question because I was trying to figure what Reek is really trying to do. The only thing I could think of is he's making them see themselves for who they really are. Um, um, I just, I don't think he's trying to get them to be against one another or anything like that. I just think he wants them to, you know, look at themselves for who they really are, look themselves in the mirror and, um, and that's probably it. I don't think he's trying to be this big time drug person, or I just don't see that for with this episode here. So that's that's what I'm thinking. Even you don't think he could do that without coming off with a cool meal? Um, he. I mean, he Vincent. may. I just don't. I just don't see what I don't. I just don't see where his where he's going with it. I really don't. That's all I. That's all I could think of. All right, bully, you was about Cap, to chime Cap, in. What? What? Yeah, what's... Cap. He would. He would have never saw the mill anyway. 
You know what I mean? So he already, he thought he had this master plan. Hey, you know, we'll get them to work together. They'll come up with two mil. After you get your cut, you know, we'll divide it. That wasn't <laughs> Vincent's plan. Vincent's right. plan was you would never see none of that bread. No way, you little kid. I'm going to kill them all, you know, once they give me the money. So I don't know where his head was thinking that he was going to come off with a mil, half a mil, whatever, after he paid Vincent his cut. And I think he's being young. He don't even know yeah. what he's really dealing with. I, he don't no. know what this what is going. What would he do with a million dollars? Where is I he going to re-up from? Where is he going to re-up at? That's what I'm Uncle saying. Tom? He His plan with swapping the pills out, that clearly didn't work. Like, it, I, it, I just don't. I just don't see him being who he think he can be. I just, I don't see that. Crown me, crown me. What's your take on the test? Um. Yeah, I, I got a different perspective on this one. Um. I think that Tariq was thinking about you know his mom and what's the sister that's still alive? Yes, the one we don't see. Yes. Yeah. Um. Because I'm. I thought when I saw that question, I thought back to when they were in Tasha's apartment at the table, and he pulled out the money and was like, "Here, ma." And she was like, "Well, where did you get this from?" And he's like, "Oh, I got it from Canaan." And then she went off and was like, "Don't never bring no money in from him in this house again," you know. But he sees, you know, they're not living the lifestyle that they're used to. His mom is running a daycare. She's not happy with you know where it is, and it's you know Ghost's fault for the downfall of the family. So I'm thinking he thinks that with that meal, he can get his mom and his sister and himself back to, you know, what they, what they were used to and get, save his mom from that situation. Cause if you remember when Vincent went up to Tasha, he came back to the car. Vincent was like, you were right. She didn't know a thing. He was like, see, I told you. So he's still like, I knew ghost wasn't even going to tell my mom that I'm missing and so I think he was kind of trying to, he was hoping if he got the money that Tasha was going to be on his side and be like, look, I got this meal. We could get away from ghosts, get out of here. You know, he didn't even tell you I was kidnapped. You know, why we don't need him. Let's go. So I think that's kind of was his plan. He was trying to do that, you know, for his family, be the man for his family to get them back on top and out of that little apartment and, and back to what the lifestyle they're used to. Now that's he dope. was naive in thinking. He was naive in his thinking, but that's what I thought. Okay. That's a that dope is, perspective. That is, and the, and the the, fa- the show does gear around family, right? So that's a very good, unique perspective. But again, it was it's him being young and dumb. Right? Yeah, it was because definitely a naive perspective. <laughs> yeah, you're right, young and dumb. Because if he brings that home, Natasha, right? Chess. If he brings it home, she already said. Don't bring that type of money around. She already know that he was hustling, got kicked out of choke, right? So is she going to really accept that bread, right? And she's the one more adamant about him not selling drugs, being in the game, right. like that. So that young dumb, right. if he thinks, oh, I'm going to get this for my mama, like a lot of cats who, who start out young selling drugs because they got to be the man in the house and things like that. And I don't think she would be accepting of that because at the same time, the boss that she is, she going to go get the money anyway because she was like, I know where I I could get the drugs for us. And you saw Tommy and Ghost like, what? Like, Tasha, I've said this in previous episodes, is the deal. Tasha's the boss. Whenever they got issues going on, they run to Tasha. And she's the one that comes up with the answer. So, Really, truth be told, I don't know what son, where his head, just, I've, I've chalked it up to being young and dumb. Yeah, and he but, lucky but, he ain't get his dumb ass killed. But Tyreek knows his mom was, is down with, with the get down as well. Like, he didn't see his yeah. mama clean the gun, hide it, put it in the incinerator, put your clothes down there from when he, um you know, when he killed, what is it, Ray Ray or whatever? Ray Ray you know, to protect he, he, So he know his mom is with it. And so, yeah, I bet, you know, him. I'm just thinking he was thinking, like, if I come home with a million, what was she going to really turn me away with a million dollars? What are we going to do with it? She going to burn that? I she think put Tasha that in the incinerator? Will. Tasha, Tasha, yeah, so I, I don't think, think that was his, his thinking. Of that, though. But I think that was his thinking, and that's why he was trying to plant the seed of, you know, Ghost didn't even tell her that I'm kidnapped to kind of get her wheels turning against Ghost to be more accepting of it, but... 
I mean, it was a foolish plan, but I, I think that's what he was trying to say. <laughs> no, but I... Listen, I, I, no, I, I, I don't... Yeah. I don't really... Because, you know, I really didn't have any type of account. Like, when I saw that question, I was like... I'm, that's I'm what I'm saying. Question, like, when I'm <laughs> so, looking at the show, like, this is a dumb motherfucker. Like, what are you... What you... What are you thinking? If you come up with a mill and you that age, what the hell are you going to do with a million dollars, B? And, to, and what are you going to justify coming up with that? I so, don't really care what Reek's intentions were. All I know is Reek is playing in a lion's den now. And he felt it when the, when those oranges hit his rib cage. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he didn't, right. feel that, he didn't feel that when his face was on that ball. He keep, he keep what playing. What about his face them, on the ball? That didn't, that didn't get them grown men ain't playing with Reed. But he, he, but he think, he think they won't kill him. They will kill him. They will kill him. And they will kill him right in front of Ghost. If but let me playing. let me ask y'all this. And Tess, I was gonna start this with, with you because you kind of touched on it. But when 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 do y'all think that Reek realized that his plan had gone awry? When them oranges when them hit, orange when them orange <laughs> hit him in his rib cage. <laughs> but no, he also oh, did shit, when he told hurts. he told Tasha, you know, oh, they said they're gonna kill all three of us after they get the money. So that he said that outside of the truck on the first night. So that's when he had to hear that, you know, when when Ghost and Tommy, uh, you know, left and he they rolled up the window in the truck or whatever. So he knew for a little bit, even before the oranges hit his rib cage, he knew he was gonna have to do something. <laughs> and look um, how much so of a dummy he a... sound like, though. <laughs> so you did all this just to get three people killed. And so you it, sound like a child. You a dummy mm. for getting yourself in this situation. It really was a good thing that the police needed to talk to him because otherwise yeah. he wouldn't have even been able to tell Tasha, hey, Ma, they going to kill us all as soon as they get the money. He wouldn't even been able to tell them that if the police hadn't been looking for him. So that's really what saved him, the fact that when he, he, he got, was wanted for questioning. When he, he got some, he, he some most when stuff with his lying shit. little butt. Yeah, well, money. That... I also think that when he realized too, is when they came back and Vince said, "Oh, they only had half." He thought they was gonna come through with all of the money, all of the cash, the two mil, like Vincent wanted. But then right. when he heard, "Oh shit, they only got half. They only came up with the half." I think that's when he realized it too. At that point. Mm. So yeah, I mean he had to, multiple money, holes had in his plan. Yeah, most. I he just can't. I mean, multiple. That, that was, I, I can't see what up. Reek was thinking. I can't the see. I can't see flawed. what. I agree with. I agree with bully Boy, to the point of like, <laughs> what are you gonna? What What are your parents gonna say if you come home with a million dollars? What's Tom? Like you can't go to Tommy and be like, Uncle Tommy, I I want to buy a million dollars worth of pot. I, I mean, I just up. I just can't no. understand. I, I really just I'm having a tough time understanding he's what he's trying to think on that Tasha and Ghost level and his his thought process his planning is a little less than Tommy he on Keisha plan exactly with his mindset he uh, he just <laughs> he he can't come up with it just quite like that he's, he, he might have tried have to it. get him a little whip another little chain <laughs> or something <laughs> like a like a young like a young drug dealer would you know what I mean? little think, chain little think, whip but. You think I he was trying to read up the go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I just want to say I just feel like he needs to stay in the child's place because he is putting Ghost and Tommy in another in a worse predicament. Look, they don't get the money taken by Jason. Like he don't even know they dealing with a bigger dog. Yeah, like, they came up they came up on that. They came up with three mil. They came up with three mil in, in three nights. In three, like, three he's nights, digging they came up with a, three mil. He's digging a deeper hole than Vincent for them to. And he don't even know what they dealing with. So he needs to really stay in a child's place. They can go ahead and write him but, back down to a five-year-old level for me. But Neek, he clearly thinks he's not a child. How he right. messed up to his dad. Right. And his crazy ass. <laughs> Boy, what was you going to say, say, Bully? Yo, so we we I, we probably need to touch on that too, right? Where, um, because none of the questions we have tonight involve Jason, which right. we need to figure out and unpack why now that you've that he's confronted you both, 
that he's playing both of you, there's still not like a, a plan hatched out to go get Jason. Right? Like that that still isn't isn't like and they've killed they've killed big wigs on like every season. You know, so why why isn't Jason ready but, to fall? I think we could have gotten Bully, that. I think that's coming. Bully, I think that's coming. I think the their bigger issue, their bigger concern. I mean, they put their beef aside to go get Tyreek together. So, like, I think the bigger concern was like, we got to go get Reed, and 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 so, whereas Jason may have been the biggest concern, he bumped himself down the list. And now that Tommy and Ghost both realize that, um, it was Tommy the one that killed Proctor. Killed Proctor, yeah. I, so I think Jason's even the further down the list. Yeah. So. And they're, they're, they're in both of you, and you know that you're you're really the reason why my money supply is getting low because I gotta pay you and to protect me, and I gotta pay you for for not killing like. But things keep happening, and he keeps going further and further in the back. Yeah. When he's the root of their a lot of their issues, they need to they need to kill that. They need to kill that nigga. I agree. They need to get to the root. Stop worrying about the branches and get to the root. <laughs> Cut that off. Hey, and then way. we work, we run with, you know, what we got. But I'm getting rid of Jason. I would. Yo, That's where like, my mindset would be. It's it's right. like if you got a pile of rocks, right? In 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 a in a bucket, right? Do you pick out the little rocks or the big rocks first to empty the bucket? Hey, you pick out uh, the big motherfuckers first, and then you can pluck the little rocks up out of, out of the bucket to empty the bucket. Jason is a boulder. That nigga's not a rock. He's a boulder. Get rid of the boulder. <laughs> well, we're, we're, you know, had, had Reek not hatched his grand master super smart plan, maybe they would have got to it already. Uh, but speaking of getting the stuff, we got to get to the next question. But before we do, we got to pay some bills. Um, Tess, why don't you bring us in with a commercial? All right. Yo, the summertime is winding down, so it's time to go ahead and get that fall wardrobe together. Check out the new fall line from Defy Life Gear. It's got all new designs, jackets, socks, and you got to check out the brand new alternate logo. We also got sweatshirts for all the podcast gear you love so much. So go ahead and visit www.defylifegear.com. That's www.defylifegear.com to get your gear today. And remember, Defy Life, lifestyle, defiant. It's defylifegear.com. All right, y'all. Y'all heard it. Y'all heard it. Get to DefyLifeGear.com and get ready for the fall. Get your fall fashions from DefyLifeGear.com. All right, Money, we back and we ready. Yo, oh, speaking of um, Defy Life Gear, man, those, I, yo, I saw those ladies' um, crop tops. Oof, they are fire. Y'all go check them out. Um, DefyLifeGear.com. Check them out. They out there. Um so we're back. Before we left, we were talking about Reek's master plan and um, how very, very amazing it was. Um, coming back in, <laughs> we're going we gonna to move on to the next topic. Um, good question. So why, why, do y'all think, why do y'all think that Alphonse ha- have to die? Um, you know, we saw that scene at the end play out. Um, he kind of came back into the into the series very like abruptly. Why did y'all think he have to die? Um, Meek, let's start with you. <laughs> I was hoping you wouldn't ask me because you know <laughs> that scene I was watching. I said, "Who this fool is? <laughs> <laughs> He's supposed to be going with two and Spanky. Get on up out of there! He put guns for Garrity face." And they tripped me up because he just said 
to um, Dre, I'm going to get paid either way. What, are you, what did that when mean? You, when you're getting paid and you're dead, you, your death was your pay? So <laughs> I'm, I'm totally confused. So about you don't you it, don't know you don't know what that meant either. No, I'm totally confused about was it part of the plan? Like was that a part of the plan to kill him? Like um what um the bully said earlier, or was it not? Like, I don't I, I don't think it was. Like, he was doing all that fucking talking and tape tape picked his voice out. Like yeah, like <laughs> obviously my thing is when he went to ask Tate about put your stuff in the bag. I first was like, he already said, don't I know you? Let two bit of somebody go over there. Why are you going over there? You about to mess the plan up. He the I only one doing know. all that talking. Yeah, you like, what how, big, was his... yeah, you like how big my cool. gun is. Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Like, why did he get himself killed? I Like, that really threw me off. If the other, the rest of y'all got something on it, I would love to hear it because I'm blown right now. I don't know. Maybe his death was his pay. I don't know. Alright, Kwanda, we're going we gonna to take it to you. What you think? Why did <laughs> why 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 Alphonse have to die? I definitely don't know. Now, <laughs> the only... um Well, we know it was a part of the plan as far as when Ghost gave um, Councilman Tate the gun. I think, I, I think him dying was a part of the plan. But that you, talking and you stuff. Think him dying was part of the plan. I think so. I think so because Ghost did that too smoothly for me. It was too smooth. So I just feel like it was a part of the plan. Ghost wasn't gonna tell nobody, of course, that was a part of the plan. But I think Ghost planned that. But I didn't think. I don't think that Ghost knew he was gonna do a lot of talking and all of that. So he was like, Lord, let me go ahead and get this. This this is my move right here. I'm going to go ahead and do it now. I think it was a part of the plan, but I don't think he thought that he was going to do all that talking and um like that. And I think Alphonse did all of that talking to maybe show he had some kind of up or something because of how Dre made him feel. I don't know. When Dre said, you ain't built for this. Maybe he was like, I got to prove these niggas wrong or something. I don't know. But that's all I got. That was confusing to me, so I would have to agree. I, I think Alphonse dying, I think I think that was an improv. I think I think once once Ghost realized that Tate had made Alphonse, Alphonse had to die at that point because he a witness. Um, Bully, what you think? Yeah, that, that, was, that was the obvious. Once he, once he made him out, I know you. I know you. I knew at that point, if that if that man kept carrying on, that he, it was it was he was writing he was he was writing his yeah. Letter, but he, but he the, said that was early on though. That but was no, early. I don't when know if that was the, the, that. the full the full like plan for him to die. But Pete, this the spank and two bit are Tommy's guys. How did he end up working with Tommy's guys when that's really Ghost's dude? You know what I'm saying? So that right there was was a little off. That's good. Yeah. That's that, good. That was, that and was that by, why, that why it was planned that, by Ghost. That 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 might have been because Ghost had Dre and Alphonse. So you know why was Alphonse the one suited up and not Dre? Right and ski masked up and everything like that. But at the same time, I could also see what Kwanda had to say in regards to him wanting to show that he was built for this because his ego got played in the street. So now I got a gun and these are some rich white people with with cakes with dough. They a little bit soft, but I can show that I'm more muscle. And heavy, and I got this big gun. I could do things, but once Tate made him out, this was Ghost was like, okay, Alphonse got to go, but I'm not going to be the one to shoot him. I'm gonna have Councilman Tate, who used to be a former cop, let him kill him, and then he'll have motive to kill Alphonse once he made him out. Because now, if that is the only copy. Only me and Alphonse know what's on this. I can't 
can get Ghost to authentic to have Alphonse authenticated that that's his voice. So boom, I kill him. It's good for the campaign too, because now we got a packing a packing governor and anybody that's out for <laughs> you know that's <laughs> that's on that Trump type shit where you know uh, the the. The, the NRA and everything oh, wow. like that, the right to pack. Now he's going to have them voters and those supporters. So that was, and old girl Garrity alluded to that. Truth will get the population. You win. Councilman Tate wins because now he has those those people that, that are for gun rights and things like that that are going to support him. Everybody wins, win. I think she's mad smart too, but that's for another show. True that. Good. All all good points. All very good points. <laughs> all all very good points. Tessie, um, what you think? Zip this one up. Um, yeah, I agree with with most of what was said. Um, you know, I definitely don't think it was Ghost's plan, uh, for Alphonse to die, but I think it played right into his hands when he realized that Alphonse was going a little bit off script and doing his own thing. You know, like Rashawn said, bam, okay. Tate used to be an officer, put the gun in his hand. He's going to be the hero. He's going to get his votes. We're going to pull off the robbery still. We're going to get our money. We're going to get Tyreek back. We're going to have extra money for ourselves. Like, it just was perfect. So he was like, well, I ain't letting this opportunity pass me by. Um, and I think it was definitely motivated by what Dre said when he said, you ain't built for this. And then he stabbed the dude because then him and Dre kind of had words before the robbery as well. And so I think he was definitely <laughs> trying to, like, prove his manhood and his street gangster gangsterness um by by kind of sticking back and and putting the gun in their faces and stuff um but uh as far as the money comment he was like i'm gonna get paid either way um you know they were supposed to get paid for the robbery they was gonna split the money from the robbery that was the plan then also he gets paid remember off of the queen's child project that's how he gets his money tate skims the money off queen's child project and pays him for what for his part in his campaign so when he was like, right. oh, I'm going to get paid either way, he like, look, if this robbery don't work, I'm still getting my money off the of tape. The robbery do work, I'm getting the cut of this money. So I'm getting paid regardless. Right. So because that, <laughs> True, because that shit had Dre feeling some type of way. Yeah, Dre was Dre <laughs> getting paid. Dre was like, you still get paid? Like, what the fuck that means? Yeah, true. but I but, think that's what that was. But, but little did he know. His little ego got But why was he there? Like how Bully said, why was he he that was there. part of that was part well, of the Drake said, yeah, that was that was part of the plan. Ghost yeah. wanted one of his men to be on their um squad, well, not just all Tommy men. Drake like that. You know, Ghost still don't trust Drake enough to do that. And then look what they doing getting the money for. Tyreek. Ghost don't right. want Dre nowhere near or associated oh, no, with Oh no, no, no. I know not Dre. So yeah, yeah. that's the only guy Ghost had. Yeah. I well, so he wanted. He just wanted one of his guys, so he had to get Alphonse. Yeah. Let 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 me say this because after everybody was talking, <laughs> Will started turning. Okay. And what if we? I mean, well, I don't know if we ever figured this out, but you know, Tess made a Carmi Tessie. She made a good point about getting paid either way, you know. But what if this nigga was gonna steal? Nah, what? What? Because then he would have all of them. It. He was he gonna have went all of them after. Cue, but he went off cue. Is what I'm saying. He went off cue. So what if he was going to get paid either way? Like he knew what he was about to do. I'm gonna stay in here. I got the gun now. I got the power. I mean, you got to think the whole show is about power. But what everybody was he in they the done show took everybody's jewelry and money. He ain't. He no had his own there. bag. Yeah. He had- he loop. had his own bag. He even gonna take it and run. They was gone. He was gonna nah, take his and go. I don't, I don't and so I'm thinking he went off cue and Ghost noticed it. Like you're doing a little much. Nah, but there was two bags, right? There was two bags being and Spank had one and two bit. His son ain't even have a bag. Yeah, he like I, yeah, he just I don't, I don't, the shotgun. I don't think yeah, he was gonna try to steal Spank, anything. Spank worked the women, oh. and then Two Bit was on the men's side. He just had a gun, so yeah. So if you gonna <laughs> get paid either way, niggas ain't even give you a bag to put the loot in. You nah. ain't even you ain't even get trusted with that. All you had to do was shut up and 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 wield the wield the the, the shotgun. 
That's all yeah. you had to do. But I do think you know, Ghost kind of had this kind of in the back of his mind if things go astray. Because right before the whole I'm robbery, he gave, he gave uh, Tate the flash drive and specifically said Alphonse's name. It yeah. seems. Brought him in his mind. Yeah, it seems strategic. It seems strategic so, to me. It just trying. seems planned to me. His wheels That's exactly what I said. Well, this might be the backup we plan. Him, <laughs> when we said, right. well, it's Ghost back. That was all. That was all the plot. He gave yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Drive, and then now Tate has reason. Once he made him out, that's why Ghost was packing and and slid him. Um, yeah, slid him in the yes. gap. Like now that's why you I say all was the playing. reason to take him out because. Now you ain't gonna have that against him, and I got the only copy. Yeah, yeah, so I don't think it was been, improv. It may not have been his plan, plan A, but it was his plan A point one. I got you, <laughs> and it was A one. A one. I think it been plan A to start with. Hey, let me let me ask y'all what y'all y'all takes about this. Do y'all did y'all did y'all kind of get the feeling? That Councilman Tate knew that this was some shit orchestrated by James. No, no, I think but Ramona, Ramona got did. it. <laughs> Ramona definitely I think got Ramona, it. Ramona wheels I think, is turning. Yeah. But I think <laughs> Tate was at I don't when it was going on, no, now he might sit down and rethink some stuff later on in his office tonight. And say, you know what? This this, this might have been a scheme. <laughs> But in the no, time. but but he I was, think at first, I think at first he did because he kind of looked, he looked yeah. around. He kept giving like, ghosts. He this remember look. Councilman Tate is from the streets now. He ain't, <laughs> he he Man. he know what's going on. So he we looked. Gonna, we ain't gonna say he's mean, from the streets. I mean, like he cop, like ghost said, he was a cop. <laughs> but he, 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 yeah, well, you know what I'm saying. He know about street stuff, so. I think I think it crossed his mind, but with that plan that Ghost had, that shit went out the window. <laughs> but I, I, I think I think everybody is on to something. Um, Ramona Garrity know what's good because I don't know if y'all caught this though. Did you see when Tasha threw her ring in the bag and she was standing next to Ramona? James, I just did. give it I to him. That. When, when... Right? Yeah, yeah, I saw that. James, just, you, just give it to you, him, James. You, was, was you, so gonna listen to that, that? you gonna listen oh, to that I bitch? <laughs> she just, she's starting to peep everything, you know, and that's when she made the comment that everybody won, right? Because I think she think she might have won when Tasha put the ring in the bag because when she said that to James and then Tasha came up, you know, she gave Tasha this ill look. So she might have thought, yo, if she throw this ring away and she ain't wearing the ring no more, I could finally do what I need to do to James. Well, wow. she think that she a total yeah. dummy because yeah, it was all a setup. They getting yeah. their stuff back. But but she definitely want James. It's all in her eyes. You yeah. know. But she could have get James with the ring on or not. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Speak, speaking of somebody I making mean, a comment, other people did. Speaking of somebody making a comment, I think somebody made a comment last week about Benny not really having no pull. Who was that? Was that well? That was it. Was either it was either Bully or it was the Ghost. Whoa, whoa! Bully said that, that he gonna kill. I said he gonna kill Tommy. I said that. Oh well, then maybe it was the Ghost. Yeah, Bully like, maybe it was the Ghost. He didn't, we didn't say nothing that. about we 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 don't know nothing about Benny not having no not having no juice. He could just be a regular dude. I just wanted to yeah, say some, we, somebody has said, yeah somebody said somebody that. Did say I that. think that was yeah, the yeah. goat. I listened to the episode. And, uh, that I think that was the goat from. Uh, I remember listening to the episode. Okay, yeah, well, okay, well he definitely said, showed y'all different. Yeah, Benny we, roll up and say you don't want it with my guy. Yeah, we we saw we saw what Benny be about. He even, he even whispered some slick shit in the Vincent ear. Had Vincent shaking in his boots. Had Tommy shaking in his boots. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Tommy. And everybody and every and Katz was thinking that he had popcorn muscle. That he didn't really have no weight. And he was just, you know, all appearance. That that nigga showed you 
When it comes to this Italian shit, <laughs> niggas know my name, dude. Right. Low, they know me in these shit. Low key, I was watching right. episode shaking in my boot. Right, right. But he right. said, but he said to Proctor a uh, several times. You want me to kill them both? Like, I don't know. <laughs> if y'all, We've all watched gangster movies and seen mm-hmm. Italians. Italians don't really fuck around, B. Like, yeah. when, when they want you, they want you. You you swim with the fishes, right? right. So, like, yeah. I don't know why cats thought that Benny was soft. I just I just wanted to touch on it because I know we touched on it. I know we touched on it last week. And I remember when he jumped, when, when all them dudes jumped out the cars, I was like, shit, I guess that answers that question. Yeah. You know, so yeah, definitely. Benny, Benny got some heat with him. Um, moving on, moving on. Great, great, great work, guys. Um, we're gonna double dip on Reek tonight. Um, it seems as he what, what does it say? It seems as though he has an unsettling um disliking towards his entire family. Um how how far is he willing to take it? Um you know, what, what betrayals and ghosts, his mom, double crossing, murder. Like, what, what, how far is Reek willing to go to, to exercise whatever, whatever fucking problem he has with his family? Um, Bully, let's start with you. Well, we've already seen the double cross. Yo, we can, we can say a lot of things about Tariq, but. He all he often goes back into this. I want to be an adult at one minute, then I want to be a kid the next to play the adults. You know what I'm saying? So like, mm. for for instance, you, you we say like the double cross. Like he ghost ghost told him, you got to choose your your uncle Tommy or you got to choose me, right? And now ghost is seen. That when he left out through the back door and, and left that open because he saw uh, his his phone records that he was talking to Tommy prior, he already double crossed because he said, "You got to choose your your uncle Tommy or me because I don't trust you." Now he sees why he can't trust him. He's already crossed and lied to Tasha. She's seen it firsthand when he was talking about the white guy in the twelfth floor that don't like him. And he knew, and she knew that he had left the door open. Then she was like, "Well, after we finish with this, you not getting back in that car." Here comes another lie. Well, they they got people watching Big Mama and Yaz at the house. That was mm-hmm. a lie, you mm-hmm. know. So like he's even. I'm a, I'm gonna go to this point. Even when they were exchanging, you know, Tariq uh, giving them back to Ghost and Tommy. He gave Ghost a hug. Did y'all see Tommy's face when he did that? Yeah. Like, like that right there was was betrayal and and double crossing right there. So he he has shown that he's gonna double cross and betray people that he loves. That with his lies, his deceit, and things of that nature. <clears throat> I've said this. I said this before. I said, check the first episode. What's gonna come to ha- come to pass is gonna murder somebody, whether it's Tommy or Ghost. He's gonna body one of them. Mm. Yeah, he's been giving that. He definitely been giving out fake hugs all season. <laughs> <laughs> um, Quanda, what 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 say you? <laughs> um. Yeah, I mean, Reek has done all of that, and I think I don't think that Reek's going to kill anyone, or not any of those two, not Tommy or Ghost, but um, I think he's going to end up murdering someone um, someone close to him on on accident. On accident. Um, but I, I don't know who that's going to be. I don't think it's going to be Ghost or Tommy. Yeah, I think, y'all... like I said, those two are going to kill each other. <laughs> That's what I've been saying. Do y'all think the detective and Officer Rodriguez bought bought Tyreek's story in, in the restaurant? No. Well, definitely not Rodriguez. No. She don't buy nobody's story. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. She know they all lie. But <laughs> Tyreek, is a, he, he's a good liar. You know, but he's still he's still young, but he's I mean, you know, 
They don't believe that. Come on. No. Mm-mm. He ain't the best liar. To but pick up you know. what, yeah. He I don't think he he's a good liar, but Tasha messed it up for him. All that fake rubbing and all. <laughs> Rodriguez saw right through her. So you she was it was like she was covering up for Tyreek. But but Ta- so, Tasha well, yeah, was, was taking the back. She was giving him time. But Tasha yeah, was taking the back when he when she heard him lie about that twelfth floor, Tasha was like, What the Because Tasha was Tasha didn't know that he helped Tommy or that he left the back door open on purpose. Like Tasha didn't know right. that this little boy right. had anything to do with this. So to right. hear him lie about why he left out of the back door was a shock to her. And she kind of wasn't able to hold that surprise in because she had no reason to think that Tariq was a part of this murder. So when right. and- when he lied, she was like, oh, what? So I think she had to catch herself with her face and start rubbing to try to cover it up. Right. It's okay, and baby. You guys saw all, all yeah. of it. Yeah, you guys saw the surprise she on her face for language. sure. A cop, cop can see that, though. Yeah, yeah. because they look they're looking right through the window. They're yeah. trained to look at body language, not what you're mm-hmm. saying. Mm-hmm. And your eyes, where your eyes deflect and look around other places, your body language. Tasha was mad uncomfortable when she heard him tell that lie, and she picked up on that. Now, Rodriguez has had many encounters with Tasha and hasn't seen her flinch that much, but she saw her body language and how she screamed and um, in the chair when he was lying, and she picked up on all of that. So oh. she definitely doesn't believe what, what went down, no. She thinks Good all points. the... St. Patrick's are liars and they, they know are. what's going yeah. on. Like, they do. She's very <laughs> hip. She has the I same test. face every time she talks to somebody. She Yeah. She just got oh, that that's, this that's, lying face. Yeah, she always had a this nigga lying face. Um <laughs> Tessie, what 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 you think? Um about is, Tyree. Is, is is Reed capable of, of how far is he willing to go to get get back at whatever whatever problem? problem he has with his, with his family i don't think Tyreek is just just an idiot like the problem he has with his family is that they were all drug dealers and killers and they didn't tell him about it that's literally his problem <laughs> that's bad. like that's are bad. you an idiot instead of telling him about it and letting him be a part of it they gave him a great life they gave him a penthouse bad. with all the jordans mm-hmm. he wants playstations and xboxes and great schools and whatever else he wanted instead of giving him the drug game and he is upset about that and that makes him an idiot that's because the only reason he started turning was when Kana came around and started telling him about oh your dad used to do this and your dad does this and you know your dad is really this and your uncle Tommy really this and drinking that lean like he's drunk one too many cups of lean and now his brain is stuck. Mm-hmm. So I, I really, I don't know how far he's going to go, but it's just every, at every turn, he doesn't learn. You done killed a man. You done watch your sister get killed because of you. You done let yourself get kidnapped and all wrapped up in the drug game with the Italians. And every time somebody gets him out of this situation, he still desires to go back into it rather than just, all right, let me just chill out. So I don't, I don't know. You know I agree. He's just an idiot. The same, yeah, the same people that, that he hates are the people that keep getting him out the of this same, trouble. Yeah, the same people he's that he hates. Always the same people that gotta, gotta get him out of this bullshit he keep getting himself into. Because yeah, he ain't he got, got the brakes kiss. knocked on. Yeah. <laughs> he need he the brakes knocked. Kiss, his he needs the brakes knocked off of him. They, them little oranges work. up against his rib. He need he needs some real hardcore. You know, stuff done to him, and he'll see how real it is. No, I don't think that's gonna work. A gangster shot your sister. What he needs to do is once, once a man, once a little boy thinks that you know his heart don't pump Kool Aid no more, he steps to his dad. And what he needs to do is get a good old fashioned ghost ass whooping. That's Tasha, what Tasha, Tasha won't let ghosts do way. it though. Tasha, Tasha won't let ghosts way. really pun- right. really That's punish his ass. Go down. He should he should get punished because he want to meet ghosts. 
<laughs> but that's who I'm talking right. about. Ghost needed when he stepped to him that time. Ghost need to knock the brakes off of him. I I don't like when when little young kids be stepping to their dad. Me either. <laughs> like I can't, I can't stand that way. shit. I be yeah. feeling. I'm gonna knock the brakes like, off. Knock the little, him. knock his eyeballs yeah, out. Yeah, like, let what? him feel it. But Man, I think what it. I think just to finish my answer, I think what we see from Tyweek, Tyreek, Tyweek. <laughs> That's a good saying. Tyweek. Tyweek. What we keep seeing from Tyreek is he's literally willing to go to the death. And that's not what maybe he's thinking. But that's where he's headed because he's an idiot. So he's willing to take it as far as dying to prove his little want to be against the point. Dummy. I wonder if we... I you wonder. got a little chain that's cool with me. <laughs> like, he got his um, little chain and he... No, he we didn't like name this talk- episode Tyweek. <laughs> Tyweek. Hey, I feel it. I feel it. Um, <laughs> Nick, I ain't forget about you. Bring bring this one home. Uh, I was just going to say what Tess just said. Um... Uh, he really just want to be a, a thug for some reason. I don't know where that come from. Like, like Tess said, they gave him a good life. He really wants to be a thug. Why? Who knows? But, um, yeah, I think he, I was just going to say, I think he wants to go to the death. But Tess says she don't think he's aware that he wants to go, but I think he's aware. He, I really don't think this little boy care. He went to his mom and said he's going to kill the three of us. I don't think Tyreek care. This one ain't playing with him. <laughs> no, he well, think it's a game. That's what. Yeah, he think I don't. Y'all, I don't know what's wrong with this little boy. Y'all, y'all think F- Effie fucked his mind up that much? <laughs> nah, it was that lean man. It that was already. Candy, he was Candy already messed up. That lean. God, I don't care still what nobody say. Out. For you to sit there and watch your sister get shot and you not run out or nothing, it's not wrong with you. He, that's how you know he ain't ready to die or at least he wasn't ready to die that day exactly um, <laughs> speaking of lean we're going to lean into this next question Um, Tommy, Benny, Ghost Tariq, Tasha, Keisha Sax, Dre Tate hmm. or Vincent <laughs> Damn, the remaining that's a cast them a lot of names that's, that's, the, a lot. that's the whole show Yeah, that's the whole rest of the show that's the cast dude. who's the next to die and why do you think so? Bully, start us off. Um, bye, Keisha. Please, bye. <laughs> yeah, I done, I done spent a couple weeks Ooh. off your ass, not, not, not talking about her for weeks. <laughs> bye, Keisha. Please, bye, Keisha. And I think Tommy see it. You see it in his face. Like, you... You not built for this. You doing the books all all wrong. You talking about <laughs> ghosts. Ten flat iron she said, need a honey. That nigga said Keisha. Yeah, oh, like sh- nigga, what? Like we the- don't we know we don't need your help, Tasha. Tasha it makes everything go. I've been saying this for the longest. Ghost get in a jam, Tasha. Tommy get in a jam, Tasha. Right, like you, you irrelevant, and it's it's time to see her go. I, I would definitely love to see her, you know, get out of the show. Her acting is bad. No, I ain't even gonna go there tonight. Bye, if the, teacher. If the <laughs> fed, if the feds come in right now, everybody going to prison Keisha because the, it you all. right. She got the books. Songbird. Keisha is she singing got the, like Cole. Okay, she got the books cooked all wrong. You said it. Oh man, it's a disaster. And wow. now she and now she know way too much because she's been involved with the little plans. Um, Neat, Neat, what you think? Who's the next? Who's the next to die? And why do you think so? <laughs> Billy was just so funny with his answer. Um, I really wanted to be sex. I really do. I can't stand him, but I think it's gonna be Keisha. I did say this episode too while looking at it. Keisha gotta go. I mean, she really is getting. I'm turning into a Shakita. Keisha's getting on my nerves. What is wrong with her? Like, I mean, okay, you you really hate Tasha that much? Like, you know Tasha is better at the game than you are. You knew mm-hmm. you 
you ain't true to this. You knew to this, Shawty. Sit on down somewhere. Mm. But like she was just, I kill if I gotta kill him myself. I'm not gonna let nobody hurt you. You gonna kill ghosts? That's what you're gonna do. Okay, we we we'll, we'll, we'll see when that day come. What gonna really happen? Like, yeah, I think she and Tommy, like um, the bully said, I agree. Yeah, the way I'll... Tommy looked at her, Tommy is starting to feel a little bit different about her. But at the same time, also bully, Tommy is getting a little bit scared. Because you see when he said, uh, mm-hmm. Ghost mm-hmm. knows about me killing Proctor. You see how he went to her? He was shook. Mm-hmm. Like, he looked like he now... Part of him, in the beginning of the episode, he was looking like, you know, like, I could, you know, she getting on my nerves, too. But at the end, he looked like, I, I don't have nobody but you, Keisha. I need you. I can't, you know, do without you. So, uh, it's kind of like, is he, will he really go off at this moment? But I think Tommy gonna always be, and I've said this before, Tommy going to always be son-son to Ghost's papa. If you look at, like, when the, uh, when they were trying to get Tariq back, you know, Tommy oh, yeah. had to hold back. If I decide to come on, I'm going to do I'm, this, that, and that. I'm working Ghost with already you, yeah. Was, yeah, because Ghost was already putting things in the, in, the, in the air. Then you was talking tough to him. Y'all, next time I see you, I'm going to cancel Christmas. But you know who you dealing with. This is Ghost, and he's Papa. You son, son. <laughs> oh, good points. Good points. I thought mm-hmm. I thought that comment was the silliest comment in the history of the show when Keisha said, I- "I'll kill Ghost myself." I was looking at my TV like, "What? <laughs> Are you about to be in a body bag somewhere? Sit down." Quanda. Just because you beat up a couple little kids because they fatten your son's lip. Stop. She's you, get, you, you 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 not gonna get away with killing ghosts. I can tell you no. that right now. I, I, if ghosts die, I I a hundred percent of everything in me says it won't be Keisha to do it. Quanda. <laughs> a thousand percent in me. Quanda. Quanda, who's next to die and why? Well, I would like Keisha to be next, but I don't <laughs> think she's gonna be next. Um I think it's, it's gonna be Dre. I think Dre feeling himself, he done, you know, shanked that dude on the block. I think they <laughs> heightened him up and say, bye bye, Dre. Bye so bye, I Dre. Think he, yeah, I think I I think Dre's out of here next. Yeah. All right. That's, That's good. good. You That's know, Quanta good. could be too. right if That's you look good. at everybody who has died. It's like a pattern. Like they hype everybody up and then all of a sudden they go, they just They're out of here. Hey, out of here. I'm, I'm like, actually very, like very Donovan. surprised. He got like a big, like he kept, he had more words all of a sudden. We ain't yeah. had Donovan talk that much. And then he was gone. I'm very, well, very surprised at, so then, at how they're point, taking people out. To your point, Neek, though, mm-hmm. he should have act bad and came, got loose with the lip, <laughs> talking about he'll, he'll sink ghosts and ship. Nah, then, so to your point, if that is the case, now you, now you, uh, Betty Badass, you about to die. Mm. Tessie, crown me. What's what you? What's good? What you got? I, I'm in agreement with 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 the group um, about Keisha. I, I think it's her time. I don't see where else the show can take Keisha. We're done with Keisha. You know, the whole time that she's taken over and been washing the money. We've all known that she wasn't doing it correctly in our minds. And in this episode, they showed us when Tasha was sitting there going, girl, you order 10 flat irons. You need to have order 100. Do you pay your person in cash? Like, you ain't making sure this is right. So we knew, all right, well, the money's funny. She's not cleaning it right. That's not a good look. Then the preview for the next episode, she's scared again. Tommy, I don't know. Oh. And Tommy, like, look, you got to be all the way in it. It's it's too much back and forth with her. She ain't mm-hmm. gangster enough. She ain't hard enough. She's holding the team down. Two bit sees it every. I mean, every mm-hmm. time Ke- Keisha come around, two bit get the stank face like, oh, this bitch again. <laughs> Wait, what about when she was with Tasha in the daycare? Oh, Tasha, the the cops. <laughs> yeah, she she Keisha she going just my too frail. She too door. fragile. Like she. <laughs> 
She she oh, too yeah. frail and fragile. She gotta go. She's she's the one that's gonna sink the whole ship if they don't get oh, rid yeah. of her. Everybody oh, else yeah. might be able to remain solid. Even Dre might be able to remain more solid than than Keisha yeah. if it come down to it. But even she, Tyreek, she, she got <laughs> Tyreek's steady line. He <laughs> yeah, he, even he, Tyreek, he, he know the drill. But Keisha, she just she ain't built for it, and I really don't see where else they're going to be able to to take her character like we've seen her with her son and that's we haven't seen her son since he, we don't know where he done went we've right. seen her with the shop she ain't cook, washing the money right she not gangster she's still scared I, I so i think it's her time there's nothing yep. else that we can do with keisha's character i agree i must say i must say go ahead and let her kill go uh, unless she do well, the unless she do the unthinkable <laughs> the unimaginable. Like, who who do y'all really think gonna buy the keisha I think, but I think Tommy, Tommy needs somebody. I, think Tommy on, gonna buy I don't think it's gonna be Tommy. I don't think it's gonna be Tommy because he already somebody did on his with... side. He needs somebody. I think it's gonna be Tasha. Ooh. Tyreek we'll might do it. Shoot. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> it might be Dre. I mean, we just don't know. Two bit well, might I mean... do it. Two bit might be Ooh. like, you know, I'm tired of this. <laughs> you, you know, two bit is tired of her. All I know is switching around. Yo, I don't care if it's Zig. Somebody oh. got to kill her. Dude. I don't. I don't care who it is. Um, her and her son playing with the gun and the purse again, and it goes off. And the son, I don't give a damn. Get her out of there, yo. She just threw the no, gun in the Zig river. Wanna, now the gun Zig want to break her off. Zig want to break her off. It ain't gonna be him. Yeah, she, but she, then she acts so stank. And he's a street. I know a yeah. drug dealer. Drug dealer Zig might do something, no hey, Zig, Zig yeah. say she she got a man. <laughs> he he ain't gonna be able to steal with that cock eye he got. And, and Tasha say yeah, and you don't want to meet him. <laughs> you don't want to. <laughs> Ooh, that eye cock in the corner. Ooh, that one alone. My God. I don't like hey. a side. Zig so like a pistol. Uh, <laughs> all right, y'all. We're about to wrap it up. We're about to wrap it up. Um, me. What was your most powerful moment from season six, episode six, Inside Man? Ooh, um, the end. Uh, when Ghost went to Tasha about Tyreek. Mm. That's a lot to handle at this point. Like you know, in the beginning, we see Ghost saying, you know. We brothers, come on. So now it's like, dang, now my son then murdered help was an accomplice to murdering my lawyer with Tommy, who, yeah, that's my bro and I love, but then again, I'm strapped anytime Tommy come with it crazy. So it's that's a shocker for them. Like now they got to figure out where they're going to go, how they're going to play this out with Tyreek, how they going to handle it. Cause now they know he's lying to the police. I'm just, I don't even know. Like for me, I'm a little nervous. Tyreek might be the next one to go for real, but yeah. You got like, three answers? What they, I mean, <laughs> to be honest, though, like, what do they have if you think about it? Like, what, what, how are they going to clean this up? I don't know. We, we have to talk about that next time. Because when Benny get a hold of them. <laughs> oh, it's, it's, it's going it's to be smoking the city. It's yeah, he saved the little girl. But then again, he off the You know, Tariq was an accomplice. So it's it's a lot that part was very powerful to me like it's about to be a lot go down in the next few episodes right i agree i agree kwanda what was your most powerful moment my most powerful moment would be when vincent you know still had tyreek and then benny rolled up with them lights flashing and uh Vincent's face the headlights was flashing in his face it just it just made everything look like you thought I was gonna fold and I'm talking about like in uh, for a ghost you th- thought I was gonna fold I always have something in the in my back pocket so I think that was um that was my most powerful moment it's still on baby 
Tessie, what was your most powerful moment? Uh, I I would agree with uh, Unique. My most powerful moment was the end, you know, when Ghost and Tasha figured it out and when, when Tommy told Keisha, time out is over. Um, because, you know, I really think that if they didn't figure out that Tommy killed Proctor, I feel like Ghost and Tommy would have been able to come together and take care of Jason in this next scene. We would have seen them kind of, because like Ghost said, we're not friends, but we brothers. So I think the brothers would have been like, all right, look, I ain't paying him no more. You ain't want to pay him no more. Like, let's figure this out and get him out of here. They would have started to come together with that plan. But, uh, you know, being that now Tommy's like, oh, shoot, Ghost knows. He knows that I had Tyreek, you know, leave the door unlocked timeout is over they're gonna be coming for me and so now we gotta come for come for him um so i think that kind of changes the direction of the show as far as what can and will happen next because now that brings back in the variable of ghost and tommy being at war is brings in the variable of benny and what he might do once he finds out or if he don't already know that tommy did it uh, you know, it puts Keisha and Tasha back kind of against each other. They was kind of cool this episode. Everybody kind of came cool this episode for Tariq. But now, you know, that's putting them back on odds. So it just splits everything back up again. And now, you know, we got to try to figure out what's next. And then, you know, Tariq is back in the middle of it. Because like y'all said, you know, he saved the niece. But what Benny going to do when he find out he the one who left the door unlocked? That's the reason he had the niece. Oh. Mm. You know, so yeah. so it, it brings into a lot of question for what's coming up next. So I think that was the most powerful moment that that information has now been found out by all parties. That's what makes it such a good show. Bully, Bully, what was your most powerful moment? Yeah, everybody keeps tiptoeing around that most powerful moment to me. It was the exchange with um, with Tariq and the money and Vincent and whatnot. But the scene that was the most powerful um, in that, the, the thing that happened in that scene that was real powerful was Tommy's face <laughs> when he heard Vincent say that, you know, Ghost already told me who killed Joey, so I always got his back. You know, um, that then right there, uh, it was it was crazy. Then you looked at the cinema, uh, and looked at the TV. They all knew at that moment what happened, right? Oh. So I think Benny Benny knew by Tommy's reaction that it was Tommy. Ghost knew by Tommy's reaction that it was Tommy that killed Proctor, and then. Then uh, Tommy, looking at both of them, realized that they both know too. So that right there was was prominent. And then, like I said, in that scene too, when they exchanged Tariq, the fact that Tariq went and hugged Ghost, look at Tommy's face at that moment as well, right? Like, does he know that, you know, that you you left the door unlocked for me, and then all these other things coming into play in his mind too. So that right there was was real profound right there because then all the dots were being connected right there. So Tommy know they on him, and that's oh. why he said what he said to uh, Keisha later on. Time out over. Now I don't know which way I'm gonna get it. Jason pops up anywhere. Ghost knows this information now, and I got uh, Benny. So at all, all the darts are being pointed right at Tommy. So I thought that was real profound um, to see how the show carries on and the plot really thickens from yeah. that point. Because you know he already said, like Tess, you touched upon, you know, we brothers. We might not be boys, but we brothers. But in the car, Tommy asked them straight up, you packing? Ghost said, yeah. You packing? Tommy said, always. That mm -hmm. right there, no. After this is, 
after the smoke clears with this whole Tariq thing, and now Ghost is more has more information that he's the one that's killed Proctor, and Tommy already feels that it's gonna hurt Ghost more than with the Angela. They go on the war. Smoke, gun smoke, gun smoke. Yeah, I I can definitely see it. I feel it. Um, I thought they did a really good job at the end. Um, they they kind of set it up a little bit like, um, like just like one of those old tragedies. It really looked like they realigned um, Tommy and Keisha versus Ghost and Tasha. Like that's really how it looked. So it'll be very interesting to see what you know what plays out. Um, moving on, man. We're gonna we're gonna wrap it up. Um, we're gonna go we're gonna go into whose line is it? You know, um, normally <clears throat> I'm on y'all side, but today, ha, it's y'all against the kid. Let's get it. I'm um, be honest, y'all. I'm probably see. not gonna be that good. We gonna, bully, we're gonna write it back to you. Y'all ready? You ready? Swing. Ready. Let's get All it. Right. I'm probably right. not gonna be that good, y'all. I ain't gonna lie. I'm a, I apologize in advance. I hope uh, I hope <laughs> the countdown is as quick as the last <laughs> oh. Oh, that countdown is super slow. That countdown is hella slow, but let's get it. All right, bully. We don't we don't need your help. I'm doing it. Was that English or what? What was the last bit? <laughs> we we don't need we don't need your help. I'm doing it. Oh, that's 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 bye bye bird. That's. <laughs> Yes, sir. Yes, sir. One on the ball for bully. All right. Crown me. You up next. All right. We're going to see y'all. I'm sorry in advance. Nah, you you good. You, all right. Let's see. Good morning. Yes. And you doing good. I will be back. Yes. And you doing good. I will be back. Yup. Y'all usually try to watch the episode twice, but um, I didn't have time. This is not ringing a bell. Let me think. Yes. And you're doing good. I Ten, will be back. Nine. Eight. Seven. Oh, six. Five. That? Four. Ghosts? Three. Ghost? You said ghost? Yeah. Oh, oh no. No, it's not ghost. Um, the the person that said that was Zig. Zig, yeah. Zig, oh man. When he gave her, when he gave her the product. <laughs> oh man! All right. Well, I told y'all. I apologize in advance. I'll get him next time. And it was a, it was about about time we got a Zig, right? Because <laughs> we ain't gonna get him when he first come out. We gotta have reoccurring. Episode. Yeah. All right. Yep. Well, now I know Zig name didn't come to mind, but he, he's in my head now. Gotcha. La, La Bell. Ready? Yeah, but I'm with Crown Me Tessie. Just a little shaky tonight. Nah, right. nah, nah. Yeah, I gotta get it together. <laughs> come on, we in this. Nah, nah. nah. You I didn't bet. get what to watch it. About? I didn't get to watch it two oh. times. Hey, question, question. Nonetheless, I should be asking you that. But I already know the answer. Mm, I, I should be asking ask you, that, you that. But I already know the answer. answer. Mm. Neat, that's easy, Neat. Uh, Come on, is. think about Eight, it. Seven. Six. Oh, man. Five, four. Three. Two. One. Keisha. Say anything. <laughs> not just Zig. Keisha. No, that's definitely not. No, that's not Keisha. That's Tasha. That's, that's, that's Jason. 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 Oh, yeah. Yeah, Jason. Jason. Yeah, Jason. Yeah, he had one part of the whole, one part of the whole show. Yeah, he said I should be asking you that. Yeah. All, All right, right we on fire tonight. Woo. All right, Kwanda, <laughs> you, you up. Let me see what I can do. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I should have known you wouldn't have my back. Oh, that's Tommy. Word. Mm-hmm. Appreciate it. 
Oh yeah. my God! Mm. She got her, she got her layup finally, right? Yeah, there. finally, right? <laughs> Thank you, Nick. That's what I was implying. The alley hoop. <laughs> Thank you. That's exactly what I was I implying. I never get layups. Oh, wow. <laughs> never. Um, bully, it's back on you. Okay, back round. All right. All right. All right. Set it up. And I and I will handle it. Well, re- repeat that, run that back. All right, all right. <laughs> Set it up, and I will handle it. Ten, nine, eight, seven, I think six, I might know. five, four, three, two, one. Was that Tosh? You a hey, boy, you just got it in. I was gonna say you've been you've been saying all night how Tasha handle everything. That's Tosh. That's B. Tosh. That's Tosh. Oh, what, way what to go, Billy. In that scene? And the Who clutch. Said that too? That's when um, she said that the goat, right? Um, about the I meant the ghost. When, <laughs> that's when they were trying to figure out where to where to get the more the other product from. Hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah. Got you. Gotcha, gotcha. Dang, that was good in the clinch. All right. All right, um, crown me is back on you. Mm, all right. Redemption. What I want is my fucking money. Tate. Councilman Tate. Did he say no, that about his million? Oh, it's, it's, not, it's Vincent. It's actually Vincent, but I can't give you that. Mm-hmm. Well, Dang, one of them was damn. looking for money yeah, tonight. Yeah, I knew. Both of them was no. looking for money, though, <laughs> so that's a trip. Councilman Tate actually said, I don't give a fuck about what your your money, what you want. Nigga, what? Well, I knew Tate did <laughs> yeah. some cussing this episode. He tried to, tried to show yeah, himself off this time. What? I thought that was him. <laughs> Dang. He said, nigga, right. what? Dang, Tim. Yeah, he said, nigga, what? All right, Nick, you ready? <laughs> as ready as I'm going to be. Mm. Hey, mm. This, is, this is going to be fun. Mm, what's some four words? <laughs> hey, this is going to be fun. Ten, nine, eight, seven. Nick, Nick. Now, see, uh, I know this one. Four. Three. That countdown is faster though. It's mad wait a minute. Bad. It's mad, mad fast. You yeah. you wild hey, them right now, hey. B. You hey, wild them right ten, now, B. That's ten seconds. No, you not. When, 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 yeah, when the other when the other host is here, it's more the ten seconds is more like. No, the other host is no. a little bit slower than that. Yeah, he go a little bit the slower. The other host yeah. started five. <laughs> 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 you right though. That way it sounds. What? Like. What? You still had eight like. Me. So I guess you don't know. Me. That was that. Graham. Tommy. Oh, nah, yeah, look at you. Look at Wanda. No, that was that was that was Tommy when they was he was like at first telling him he wasn't gonna be able to pay pay them and yada yada yada. And where he's gonna say? be fun. Hey, oh, this is gonna be fun. fun. Um, I thought Graham say that when he been no, put old boy in the truck. But no, that, that countdown was mad fast. They, they hey, snatched the kids. <laughs> that what Graham said. All right, Quanda, wrap us up. Are these sugar free? What's what he said? Mm-hmm. Ready? I'm ready. Take me to meet that motherfucker. Say that again now. <laughs> Take me to meet that motherfucker. Ten. Take nine, me to meet that motherfucker. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. That's a late one. Yeah, Kwanda. Um, um. Time's up. It's a wrap. Tommy. Tommy. Oh. Boy, host owns y'all tonight. Tasha? Ghost. Ooh, ghost. Ooh, no, that ghost. was ghost, yo. When that did ghost, ghost say that? About going to see um Vincent, right? 
Who did he I, say that to? I, I don't know. <laughs> no idea. Next question. Yeah. The whole spoon jaw. That's a wrap. Funny y'all, about y'all, that. Y'all the whole... three for eight. Oh, oh my God. Who don't even know? Y'all three for eight. That's, that's not good. That's all for two. Neat. Oh for two. no. Go said that talking about uh Zig. Y'all. Yeah, Tesco. about when Tasha remember when Tasha Me was like, two. "Who does do you got getting money from?" On the one for two, bully, bully held it down two for two. Yeah, way to hey, go, bully well, and Quanda. I I, 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 I send my apologies at the yeah. beginning. Quanda came y'all. back this show strong. I swear, cause I, I ain't had nothing. I ain't had it. <laughs> hey, it's all good. We'll get we'll get we'll get them back next week. <laughs> hey. Um, listeners, you know, really, really appreciate it. We do this for y'all. I uh, hope we brought you a great show. Um, definitely check us out. And, um, we're about, we're about to zip it up. Neat, what you got for them? I mean, I didn't come strong this episode, but, you know, your girl gonna be back next episode. I'll be ready. But, you know, please, listeners, don't we appreciate y'all, but don't forget to follow us on the gram at speak, S-P-K underscore the truth underscore podcast. We really appreciate y'all. And then follow our page. We got some raffles coming soon. We appreciate y'all. Love y'all. See you soon. Hey, Tessie, what you got for him? Once again, crown me Tessie the queen. Thank y'all for having me. You know, I didn't have the answers this week, but A.K. I got the answer sway. It looks like y'all have asked me to stay. So check me out. I'll be here every week with the crew. Uh, so, you know, keep listening. Check me out. I'm going to get better with the who's line. You know, I'm coming strong next week. No doubt. No doubt. Kwanda, what you want to tell the people? What's going on? Thank you guys for listening. We really appreciate all of you. And to my fans, I'm I'm slowly coming back. Don't worry, Kwanda got y'all. Hey, Kwanda, where, where can they find us? Uh, speakthetruth.com. <laughs> <laughs> nah, don't go and to speakthetruth.com. They, that ain't I true. mean, why would you ask? <laughs> Who they, knows what well, site that is? <laughs> <laughs> don't type that in, y'all. That ain't you, true. It's you, the- Glenn? Nah, we was just playing. We was just playing. <laughs> you, can check, you can check us out. Everybody, that Defy was Life. part of it. It was a joke. Defylifepods.com. <laughs> Defy Defy All right, Bully. <laughs> All right, Bully, take us out of here. Hey, on the, the real, I uh, want to really thank you guys for tuning in. Another week, powerful show. Um, we we missed uh, some of our, our, our crew tonight. The GOAT. Uh, Thomas and we got uh, Takeda Wisdom, so they were there. They were here with us in spirit today. So thank you guys for listening. The neighborhood's always safe when the bullies in the building. Definitely believe that. Um, for all my listeners, my fans, and all that good stuff, bully never slips. Two for two. <laughs> I think I only missed two all year. So the bully, the bully's back in the building is always stronger than ever. Catch me next week. Hey, and I'm going to definitely let him know, man. Hey, um, catch- can I add one more thing? Hey, do your thing. I I just want to add, if y'all want to be a part of the show and feel like y'all are a part of the crew, you can go to go to fivelife.com to take the quiz. So the Whose Line Is It quiz is posted every Monday before the show. So head there, go to fivelife.com, take the quiz yourself, and then come check us out and see if you got the answers. See, test no your doubt. power knowledge. Check out them rankings and them stats too, because they up they they should be up there. Um, hey, great show, guys. You already know what I'm gonna say, man. Um, the real is back. I very very much enjoy hosting. Um, great kicking in with you guys. Definitely missed definitely missed our uh, missing members of the crew. Um, but still had a great time with, with everybody that was here, man. You're not rock- rocking with the far life. What's your life about? Until next week, y'all. Speak the truth. <laughs>